everyone. Today I'm coming to give you my weekly update. I believe this is week my week 17, going into my week 18 now. Um, I decided not to do it on Sunday because my weigh-in day is actually the day, and I didn't want to go on Sunday and then have to come again today. Ain't nobody got time for that. So um, I just decided to do um, both in one. At least I need to explain about my monthly weigh-in because I had a disaster. Um, my week 17 has been okay besides Friday. Friday morning I didn't get to go out um, jogging because the rain came down and out. I mean, some, it was pouring outside. And even though it's the, the rain came down at least an hour or two before I was scheduled to go, that rain felt so sweet I could not get out of my bed. I don't know, something with the rain and when you're in bed that just do something to you. But I couldn't get out of my bed. You couldn't get me from around my pillow. So I said I was going to do it Saturday. Saturday night, the same thing happened. <laughs> I wasn't going to no bed. So um, I only jogged four times last week. Um, I've completed my 30-day squat challenge, which I accomplished 250 squats. And I incorporated that with my sit-ups. So I did 250, 250 squats, 250 sit-ups. Hallelujah, that is done. Now, now that that, that is over, I have now started a five-week boot camp, which is incorporated. My first week is um, 20 jumping jacks, burpees, sit-ups, squats, and push-ups. Now... My only challenge with this workout is my burpees. I do not like burpees. Burpees is my only challenge with this workout. So I guess practice makes perfect. So I guess by the end of this week, I hope and pray to God that I'll be able to do it in, in flow like my other workouts because that's the only stumbling block with this workout. Um, everything else, yes, is okay. I am in my third month of my P90X. And I'm coming towards the end of my second month of my Supreme Nutty Day. Um, this this month for my P90X, I have to incorporate the workouts, both workouts from month one and month two. So it'll actually be 13 weeks total for this P90X. Now, I'm still on my juice fast because remember last week I told you guys that I w I'm trying to get into a dress for my cousin's wedding and his wedding is like in the next two weeks I'm getting very close to the size because I went I found some other clothing that belonged to my sister just last night because my only issues with my with my weight is my arms my legs and my stomach and me looking at myself every day it seems as if it's not moving but Someone else would notice it more than I would. At least who's familiar with, with my, me and my weight loss. Um, I went into the, one of the other rooms and I was looking, just looking for a top that wasn't a stretch type material to see how it would fit with my arms because I felt as if I, if I get a size like that with sleeves, it might not fit because of my arms because my arms are really big. And that's my one of my main issues with me, at least my arms and my stomach. And for the, for the dress at least. But the, even though the dress I'm planning to wear for the wedding is sleeveless, but I'm going to be wearing a shawl, but I was still wondering if I would be able to buy a regular dress at that size with my arms being so big. So, um... I went into the room and I found a, a top um, that belonged to my sister and my sister, I won't tell you the size because I'm not going to tell you the size I want to be by this wedding until that week or the actual week, that update when I gave you my update to, to tell you if I got into the dress or not. Um, the, the outfit at the top I wore, I was able to fit into that with the sleeves it was kind of snug around the arm area but it fit so that means I just need to do work a couple more inches off my arm so um, I guess I'll be able to fit into one of those dress sizes now 
I went and I found another outfit, at least a pants that belonged to her. That was a size smaller than the actual size that I want to get into. And last night, man, last night my heart dropped. I actually fit into that pants. A size that is smaller than I'm actually trying to get into. Now, that blew my mind last night. I had no, I, I couldn't wait to get on the phone to call her and my sister all the way in Hong Kong. And I had to call her last night to tell her that I fit into one of her pants and at least two of her pants. I could not believe I got into a, a pants like a size, got into that size. It's so, it's so amazing that when you're losing the weight, even though you're looking at yourself every day, but sometimes in the back of your head, you're still looking at yourself as that person of the past. So my mind, my mindset is not um, in par with my, my present body because I'm still looking at myself as this girl who was size 24, 24 26, 28, 30 and up. I'm still looking at myself in a way like that and, and not coming to grips that I'm out of the 20s and I'm into the, going into the teens and I was like wow I couldn't believe what was going my I mean my heart was pounding last night I couldn't believe I could actually fit into that pants so that that deck just gave me more motivation to push even harder and know that it is it is possible to lose even when I, in the past I thought it was very impossible but um, um that miss means I'm getting there I just gotta fight a little bit harder now and that's about it for my weekly update but when it comes to my monthly weigh in my scale malfunctioned on me I don't know what went wrong with the scale up to Saturday it was working um up to Saturday yeah, after Saturday night it was working. Until last night, well, not la Sunday night. Sunday night I noticed that I stepped on the scale, <laughs> stepped on the scale, and the scale said 44 pounds. Now I know, <laughs> like with this, this scale by Bowler Man, I don't know what's going on with this scale, or schizophrenic, something going on with this scale. The scale must be special in some kind of way, but I guess that's the effects of buying one of those cheap old, um, um, scales. Um, I need to f find somewhere to go to go and get myself weighed because I'm not sure how much how much I weigh right now. The last time, last week when I gave you my weekly update, I told you I was very close to reaching my goal. When I went on the scale last week, um, I was up to 236. So it was six pounds away from meeting, meeting my 300 pound goal. More likely, I, I probably met it because of the juice fast. But I'm noticing now that I'm get, because I'm getting smaller, the weight don't come up as fast as it used to in the past. Because at the beginning of the year, when I, when I started, a, when I did a cleanse, before I started any of my, di my diet, my real, my workout um, regimens and all that stuff, I was losing like four pounds a day when I did a fast or juice fast. Now it seems as if it's coming off like a pound a day or half a pound or whatever. And I incorporate workouts, so I'm not sure what's going on here. But um, I'm not sure if I met my goal or not. And that's the frustrating part. Every time I have a goal, every time I set my mind for a goal, I'm always faced with a stumbling block. And the enemy trying so hard for me not to go and weigh myself because come any part of last week, Coming into last week, yeah, last week, my something gone went wrong with my my um, SUV. Apparently, my my Jeep is is leaking gas. So now the mechanic of my car. So I have no way of even getting out of this house, even if I want to. And I, as a person, I don't catch bus. I don't catch bus down here. So um, and it ain't that serious for me. But until I could get a ride to get out. Even by my cousin, because my my cousin have a very high scale type um, scale. So I, if I could get by him to use his his scale just to see how much I weigh, and I'll give you an an over uh, final view of my monthly weigh in. I guess it'll just have to be a, a few days or probably a few weeks behind because, or I might just leave it up to the next weigh in. Depend on how I could get out, because I just need 
I need an accurate scale. Now, some people told me that the scales of them brand name scales that I've been using were not, they were faulty scales. I don't know if you ever heard about the Taylor scales, but I've I've seen some reviews here on YouTube, and some of pe some people were telling me they they were not right because they would go to a doctor, and the doctor scale will tell them one thing, and when they get on their scale at home, it's saying another. Sometimes it's saying twenty, sometimes it's saying thirty pounds um, heavier or lighter. So right now, if that's the case, I'm not even sure if the scale the 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 amount a way that it was telling me in the past if it's actually accurate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and go to my my cousin. I, I have to try and get by him. I don't know how I could get by him. I'm hoping that he's in town. And I'll try to see if I get one of my brothers or something to drop me by him so I could just weigh myself because I need to know exactly where I am with my weight. Um, I have another scale in this house, but that scale don't move. It says one weight all the time, so... If you like four, <laughs> 350 pounds, it'll tell you you're 280 pounds. And you think you lost all kind of weight when you didn't. So that scale, uh, that scale is a liar. That's, that scale comes straight out of hell. I don't know where that came from, but I need to go back. Um, and that's another Taylor scale. So I don't know what to do. I don't even know if my actual weight is act actually accurate. But I'm trying to see if I could get by go to somewhere or even my aunt's house to try to see if I could use her scale even even the ones that the gym the one they had inside the um, ladies bathroom in the gym apparently it's not there anymore because I tried going there this morning to see if I could use the scale they told me it's down because they're trying to do some I don't know, some type of maintenance I mean everything every stump there's all kinds of stumbling block coming in my way right now just because I'm trying to reach a goal I shouldn't have mentioned something like that. I should have just kept it to myself. And now that now that I announced it, all kinds of stumbling blocks. So um I'm not sure. So I hope by time between now and Sunday, when I give you my next weekly update, um, hopefully I'll have a, an amount of how much weight I lost. And I'm hoping that it's something great because and I'm hoping I can get to a scale. Um yeah, that's about it for me this week. So, bad, bad news concerning my monthly weigh-in. Tragedy. Um, it's a setback, but it's a delay, but not a denied thing. But I know I'm losing the weight because that thing would happen to me last night with that outfit, that pants. That just set me in beast mode now. So, it's just going to cause me to, to even push even harder. Because this morning I went out. When I went out this morning, I really jogged this morning because... To the point where I'm really tired right now. So I'm going to go find somewhere. I got to call. Even if I have to try and ask one of my neighbors if they have a scale or what. I just need to find out where I am. And if I am, by the time Sunday comes, I definitely would give you all my measurements and all my weight. So I guess until Sunday, hopefully, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.